Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. Today in this video, I'm going to create and set up Firebase project. After that, we will create the service worker in the React application for the user. So let's get started. Let's navigate to the browser. And here I'm going to search Firebase. Let me open this link. Let's go to the console. And I'm going to create a new project on the Firebase. So let's click on the Create a Project button. Inside this, I'm going to write the name of the project that we have. Firebase push notification. Check these terms and conditions. Let's click on the Continue button. Continue. Check this. Click on the Create Project. And it will take a couple of seconds. As you can see, our Firebase project is ready. Let's click on the continue button. Now I'm going to select the app to get started. So let me select here the web. Let me write here the name of the app that we have, React Notification. Let's click on the register app. Now I'm going to copy this command to install the Firebase in our React project. So let's navigate to the VS Code. Let me open here the terminal. And I'm going to add here the command to install the Firebase in our project. Let's hit enter. As you can see, Firebase installed successfully. Let's go inside the package.json. As you can see, the dependency of the Firebase with the version 10.12.2. After this, I'm going to create a new file inside the public package with the name Firebase messaging hyphen SW that we have service worker. The extension of the file is .js. Let's create this. Inside this file, we have to initialize the Firebase app for our project. So first of all, I'm going to import here the Firebase. As you can see the imports of the Firebase. After this, we have a Firebase config. Let's go back to the browser and I'm going to copy this Firebase config. Let me add inside the service worker. After this, I'm going to initialize the Firebase app. So we have to pass the Firebase config to the argument of the initialize app method. After initializing the Firebase app, we have to retrieve the messaging from the Firebase. As you can see, now I'm going to print the background notification to the console. So it will be a messaging dot on background message. In the argument, it will get a payload. Inside this, we have a console.log to print the payload into the console. Let's save this. And I'm going to run the React application. So the command we have npm start. As you can see, our React application started successfully. So that's all for now from my side. If you have any confusion, you can do comment. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.